Hey everybody, what's up? Welcome to Donkeys and Demos. You're here with the kid, Jeremy Vareo. Jerry will if he gets down like that, which I know that you do. And today we're taking a look at my first pack of presets for the Line 6 Helix Marketplace. This is Metal Power Volume 1. Stick around. <laughs> All right, guys, like I said, Metal Power Volume 1. Uh, there's a Stomp Edition and there's the full HX uh, uh, or Helix version. So make sure if you're shopping, you pick the right one. Um, really excited about this pack. It's my first one. Um, I very, have a very cool partnership with Adam Steele of Hot Pole Studios in England for custom IRs. Um, Adam is one of the finest uh, cab makers for the Two Notes line of products. And if you look here over on the screen, you can see these are the cabs that um, the IRs that we made are based off of. There's the uh, Tall Beast V30, um, and then there's also the God's Brit. Um, the Tall Beast is an oversized Zilla cabinet, um, and the God's Brit is the Marshall MV280 cab that is uh, part of the Mode 4 line, so they're oversized as well. Um, I have the MF400, which is the K100 version, but this is a fantastic cab. Um, we used a myriad of uh, microphones, 421s, 57s, uh, 184, I believe. Um, all of those can be found on, in the documentation that comes with the pack uh, that looks like so, the README. Um, you can see there's a list of uh, artists that these uh, presets were based off of, the amp that was used, the boost, um, and then also the, uh, the cabs, right? So there's the Marshall, there's the Zilla, um, the, uh, uh, these are the mics that were used on there. So you guys can refer to all that, and this will also tell you which um, IR to put with the preset. Anyway. So these tones are designed to work for any kind of classic metal, power metal, anything where the singer's like, yeah, like that. Um, these are gonna work for it. Um, bands like Hammerfall, Halloween, uh, Gusty or Firewind, uh, 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 that kind of stuff. Uh, these, these, that's what these were designed to, uh, to work with. So let's take a listen to the presets. I'm gonna play them totally unedited through the Helix hardware. Um, so you can hear those. I'll bounce back between the Helix version and the Stomp version so you can hear that they sound the same. No post-processing on any of them, so how they sound is how they sound. Uh, the guitars that I used to dial these in are my Balaguer Tartarus with the Balaguer Feral and uh, Evergreen Humbuckers, so these guys are passive. Uh, medium to medium high output. And then I used my Balaguer Archetype, which is just simply gorgeous, but these are Fishman Open Core Classics. So I used uh, a mix of active and passive pickups, so, you know, tried to keep everyone in mind. They were created and monitored on Yamaha HS8 uh, monitors, and then, um, so we'll hear them raw, and then we'll hear them in a full mix. Um, and then we're also going to hear them relative to uh, the tracks that they were based off of. So uh, let's take a listen uh, right now. So the first uh, song that one of these was based off of um, is Save a Prayer from Primal Fear. Uh, Primal Fear is a great uh, power metal band. And that track sounds like this. Let's go ahead and take a look at the patch. Um, these guys are generally uh, angle users. I did not use an angle. I used the Rev generator. Um, and you can see there's two snapshots set up, a rhythm and a lead. Um, and then on uh, the things that are changing are the delay in the chorus uh, mix, as well as some of the feedback and uh, what have you. Uh, on the lead, there's also uh, a, a dB boost. All the patches are pretty much set up like this, slightly different effects. Um, the IR on this guy is the God's Brit one and the overdrive is the Screamer. I use a lot of the legacy uh, effects because I think they just sound fantastic. And uh, you get a little bit more control over them, I think. Um, so anyway, just for uh, reference again, here's the... Uh All right, and then you can see in Logic, I have no, nothing on here. This is just a straight, uh, do, 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 straight preset. Hopefully I'm close enough to in tune. All 
Let's go ahead and hear the uh, stomp version, just in case. You guys think I'm uh, pulling a fast one? <laughs> And then on the lead, uh, again, a little bit of a DB boost, uh, more mix on the delay. Same thing on the stomp version. The only thing that's really different on the stomp versions is there's no hard gate. I've got the input gate on set here. Um, and that's really it. Uh, uh, and for the lead boost, um, you can see that there is a plus 3.5 uh, dB boost there. So when we go back to the rhythms, that goes off and it effectively does the same thing. So uh, let's go ahead and hear this in a full mix. Okay, so on Metal Power 2, I switched over to uh, the guitar with the to mostly dial this guy in. Uh, the amp is the Line 6 Fatality, boosted with the air apparent. Um, of course, there's the hard gate. Um, again, you can see um, there is a dimension chorus and a reverb or delay on here. I don't have them on the rhythm patches, but you can uh, stomp them in for the little lead uh, or little weird bit that he plays during the verse. It's not a weird bit, but anyway, sounds like this. And then that little bit in the verses is, uh... Tell me how it feels to live with the haunted. So he actually taps that, and I don't play it that way, but it doesn't really matter. Um, so back to the patch. Um, you know, it's a bit of a hairy tone. He uses uh, his signature um, Black Star amp, and those are, I don't think those are super tight amps. I think they're a bit more of that, you know, classic British style thing just a bit hairier on the gain. So this is uh, where we're at on the rhythm. Let's hear the uh, stomp version. And then back to the, uh, where he does that little part in there, he adds some delay and some chorus. And then for the lead tone, you can see uh, the mix changes, these turn on, um, and no, no changes there. Very sloppy. Um, just for the heck of it. Let's hear that in a full mix.
right, so Metal Power 3, you're back on the Balagor Tartarus with the passive pickups. Um, on this guy, you use the Minotaur for the gain. You got the, or for the boost, rather. You've got the uh, hard gate. The amp is the Badonk. Love this amp. Um, you can see on most all of these, I crank the sag down. I don't I keep a lot of sag on amps. Uh, cabinet is the Tall Beast 30. Um, again, some Dimension C and some uh, delay is off for the rhythms. Um, for the leads, uh, you know, you can see that comes on. The mix changes on the uh, mod. And then, um, so let's go ahead and hear what this guy sounds like. Uh, in the recording, this is uh, the track it's based off of. Halloween's Open Your Life. <laughs> So big lead sound. It's a little honky in the mid, so I didn't really try to match this perfectly, but I think what I did really fits for uh, for a track of this type. And then let's check it out. Oops. Now on the stump. Now for the lead snapshot. Let's hear it in full mix. not least uh, is Metal Power 4 preset and this was based off of a song from Hammerfall called uh, Bring It and then uh, this is actually going to show 4 and 5. Uh, 4 is built uh, around being a little bit closer to this tone. 5 is something that is really just kind of like what I'm calling the thickener and it's just a, a, a big beefy uh, preset, <coughs> do pardon, uh, that matches well with all of these other ones, right? So if you're using it to just kind of thicken up some of your guitar tracks and your multi-tracking or using it on its own, I think it's great. But let's hear uh, the bass tone that uh, I built these around. So uh, for this guy, uh, Metal Power 4, I used the archetype lead. Again, you can see the sag is all the way off. Um, I used the screamer again in the uh, legacy effects. Uh, there's some uh, delay and um, mod that you can stomp in if you want to. Reverb always on. And the cab is the God's Brit 2. Um, and that's on Metal Power 4. Make sure that's right. It is right. Oh, thank goodness. And then Metal Power 5, or the thickener, um, again, is uh, I used the Scream 808, finally. Um, and the Placator. I think it sounds phenomenal. And then this is with the Tall Beast 30. Um, Tall Beast 30, always making sure. Um, so the Placator is just one of my favorite amps uh, in the Helix, and I have a, a BE100, so uh, that's what I use. So anyway, here is the, um, ah, the reference one more time. What the hell? And then the preset, uh, the main one. Oh. 
That's what the rhythm sounds like. Your words of slander won't take us down. Anyway. So you can go ahead and stomp in some mod if you want to. So then go over to Metal Power 5. Um, Put on some lead there and the mix obviously changes on the delay and adds the chorus back in. So anyway, there you have it. Those are the patches. Um, again, I want to reiterate, there was no post-processing, no mucking about while this was being recorded. And, uh, you know, when you hear the full mix, you'll see I pop through the windows and you can see that there's um, tape saturation and EQs and compression and console emulation and all that. But uh, really what you're getting is what you heard here. And uh, as always, it's a starting point, right? Like it, it, it's a starting point to get you playing and get you recording, you're going to have to tweak it for your own monitoring system, your own guitars, your own hands, all of that. Um, but I uh, hope you guys dig them. You know, uh, as always, don't forget to leave comments. Don't forget to like the video. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit that subscribe button. Lots more packs coming out. Uh, some really cool um, uh, IRs coming with them from uh, Adam at Hot Pole Studios. So, um, you know, I hope you guys dig them. And, and, and you know, again, enjoy. Enjoy.